Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Uh, is it is it time again to have this uh, this monthly story? Yes, it is because it's December first. <sighs> this is so funny to me every single month, and I'm happy to talk about it. In this case, it's actually a little more interesting than normal. But take a look at this headline from Daily Hodl: One billion of Ripple's XRP released from escrow <clears throat> as Bitcoin and ETH whale activity escalate. So just as sure as the sun will rise each day. <laughs> Every single month, 1 billion XRP will indeed be released from Ripple's escrow. Uh, but in this particular instance, there's a surprise associated with this, which I will be sharing with you in this video. Uh, definitely caught my attention, and lots of people tagged me on Twitter as a result of what happened, so I will be explaining. Um, other than that, I got a couple tweets from the XRP community, including a ridiculous Bitcoin watch. Yes, an actual watch you know like the kind you wear on your wrist um it's you'll i'll just save it for the end of the video you'll, you'll see it but uh before we get going any further if you would please delicately tap that like button and if you are a fan of ripple and xrp i think you're a cool person and you should subscribe to the moon lambo channel to prove it to me <laughs> sorry sometimes i just say dumb stuff what are you gonna do uh let's go ahead and dig in here though one billion of ripples xrp released from escrow okay one billion of XRP owned by Ripple has just been released from escrow, making it available for the San Francisco startup to sell to institutions and crypto exchanges. Uh, it's part of a monthly routine set up by Ripple in late 2017. Uh, at that time, Ripple locked 55 billion XRP into separate escrow accounts, each account containing 1 billion XRP. Every month, 1 billion XRP is unlocked from escrow, and the amount that Ripple doesn't sell is placed right back into escrow 30 days later. And by the way, of course, it's a very small amount, and, uh, and and the part that they do sell, it doesn't mean that it's all just flooding the market. So uh, I, know I'm not, I don't really want to get into price suppression again, but uh, there's a small faction of people in the XRP community who believe that. Not too many. Uh, I mostly hear that complaint from like Bitcoin maxis and, and you know that type of person. Anyway, uh, the process is designed to assure investors that Ripple will never sell all of its holdings on the open market at once. And here's a quote. To provide additional predictability to the XRP supply, Ripple has locked 55 billion XRP, and that's 55% of the total possible supply, into a series of escrows. The escrows are on the ledger itself, and the ledger mechanics enforced by consensus control the release of the XRP. So, of course, uh, cryptographically secured, yes. Now, take a look at this. Here's a tweet from Whale Alert. This is a fun account. At Whale underscore Alert. And you can see here's the 1 billion XRP being released, right? Okay, we're almost to the fun part. Uh, with the price of XRP lagging far behind Bitcoin in 2019, Ripple has faced increasing criticism that its sales of XRP are keeping the price of the third largest cryptocurrency from rising. Now, this is not the fun part, don't worry. I just really don't want to get in the whole topic of uh, price suppression again. It's just completely bogus. I've debunked it um, umpteen million times. Anyway, Ripple sells XRP to crypto exchanges on a daily basis at 10 basis points of the daily XRP volume. Hmm, how about that? That's tremendous, isn't it? Like a huge volume. Uh, no. It also conducts over-the-counter sales to institutions looking to buy the crypto asset in large quantities. Uh, the company strongly denies the notion that its sales have uh, any impact on, on the market. Uh, well, in terms of price suppression, now, technically, as I always say, any sale, if it's one XRP, it's affecting the market. It's just not in any, any sort of meaningful way. Uh, here's the cool part, though, because, again, Ripple has actually reduced the amount of XRP they've sold based on uh, new data, the, the metrics that they're tracking. So Ripple says it sold $66.24 million worth of XRP in the third quarter of this year and plans to sell a similar amount in Q4. So look forward to seeing that report in January. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I don't want to get into that part. That gets into uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, this is where it kind of starts to get interesting, though, because I got a ton of alerts uh after this, uh, you know, after this transaction occurred, and I, I was just tagged over and over. So uh, I'm going to give a shout out to the first person that I saw. There were others, and thank you to all of you for tagging me. But uh, this is the first person that I saw. Uh, it was uh, somebody named Crypto View, and uh, wrote, uh, "There you go, at Moon Lambo IO, is that you?" And what was being referenced here? Well, here's the original whale alert: one billion XRP worth 225 million uh, USD, United States dollars. Unlocked from escrow at Ripple um, escrow wallet, and take a look at this. Um, this is this is real. 
So uh, this is a memo that's uh, associated with the release of this 1 billion XRP. And here's what it says. Here's the surprise. Fax XRP community lingo. Anyone can delicately tap the escrow release button and write a memo with it. Just don't get all smashy smashy. (laughs) Hence this memo isn't written by Ripple. Almost all monthly escrow is relocked at the at a month end, barring a small amount. So hashtag cool your jets. The revolution will be televised. The official escrower of DAI channel. So I saw that and I was like, what the hell is this? I was like, there's no way somebody from Ripple wrote that. And, if, and again, I quickly read through it. And even there inside that, I understand it. it the, the guy I showed it too fast the first time I read it, but it said anyone can can add the memo. Okay, so I was like, did Ripple do that? And I was like, no way. Uh, and, it, and they didn't. <laughs> but but uh, anyway, so here's the actual whale alert. And then you click on this, and it takes you to BitHomp, and you can see the actual transaction. So this is the actual transaction: one billion XRP um, released from X, X, uh, escrow. And here's the memo line right here. And so there it is. And um, and so then I, I quickly figured it out, though. I was like, oh, okay. Um, now, I'm going to be completely honest here. I don't know how this works. I didn't realize that anybody could just um, write up a, me- a memo, like literally, and just release the escrow. I, from a technical perspective, I'm just going to be up front and state, I don't know how that works. I really don't. So if anybody wants to share that with me in the comments, or if you have a link to something like that, I was just unaware that this was possible. I thought that only uh, whoever had it, uh, the amount of, XRP escrowed, whoever uh, releases it, that uh, they'd be the ones that are able to do it. And this account also, it was activated by Bitrix, which also caught my attention. So how about that? Now, um, it was even more fun, though, because when I was driving earlier today, I'm always listening to to YouTube. Um, typically, uh, other XRP YouTubers, I, I do it just because I run my own channel. It doesn't mean that I stop listening to others. No, no, no. Um, I love listening to other XRP YouTubers, frankly. And so I was listening to the Digital Asset Investor earlier today as I was driving, and he brought this up. Like He brought this up on the screen, and then he read it. And I was just, I just started dying laughing, frankly. <laughs> so, because he, he, he's, he's, um, very, like, he follows me and I follow him, but I don't think that he's, um, really aware of my channel, perhaps. Um, which is, it's not a problem. I'm just saying, I don't think that he's really aware of it, especially because here's what happened when, he, because he read this memo. He read this memo and he, he goes, facts, the XRP community lingo, anyone can delicately tap the ESCO release. And I just started laughing because this is, if anybody that's listened to me more than once, you know, like, that's frequently what I say, just, well, pretty much every video, delicately tap the like button if you would. It's just a, a polite request from Moon Lambo here. And then he kept reading, though. Um, and he, so again, delicately tap the escrow release button and write a memo with it. Just don't get all smashy smashy. And after he read that, he just goes, I don't know what that means. And I just, I just lost it. I was just driving. I was cracking up. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I had a lot of fun with that one. I don't blame him for not knowing what that means. It's just me saying dorky stuff. That's really all it is. So I was dying. Then he read the rest of it. And then, of course, uh, the Cool Your Jets part, that is a Ripple employee. I believe it was Dilip Rao that's, that uh, stated, uh, you know, Cool Your Jets, and that's kind of gone viral. That comment, uh, the revolution will be televised, is, of course, Jungle Inc. And then we got the official escrower of the Digital Asset Investor channel because he's got a, official members of all sorts of different things, So, which is, is funny to me. It's just one of those things on his channel. I enjoy it. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I just want to share it with you because I just got a kick out of it. So so there we are. And then uh, it was funny. Here's Stone, a tweet from Stone Hodel XRP. Uh, and he tagged uh, the digital asset investor. Your latest video talking about the escrow bit also included a reference uh, included a reference to Moon Lambo from YouTube. He likes a delicate tap on his like button. Uh, and then in parentheses he writes, "Prefer a smack myself." That's wrong though, Stone Hodel. You know better than that. You gotta delicately tap it. Then he writes, uh, "He says delicately tap the like button and don't get all smashy smashy with it." <laughs> Because I say stupid things, but anyway, yeah. So uh, shout out to you, Stone Hotel XRP. So uh, it, it was explained to him. I don't, you know, pre- hope, maybe he saw it. All right. Um, next here, I want to share this with you. This is just it, it's just something unrelated to XRP. That's why I'm wrapping up the video with it. But I found it fascinating, um, and I was tagged in this by Devin Akpom. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, thank you very much, good sir, for tagging me. And shout out to you. I, I do appreciate this. So so here's what was tagged. And uh, I got the sound off here, so I can just go back to the beginning of this video. Take a look at this Bitcoin watch. It's kind of freaking wild. 
And so I'll just sum it up. We're not going to go through this whole thing. I mean, this this whole uh, video is like two minutes long. But here's a watch. And I don't know that you can just go buy one of these anywhere. But it's like very baller looking, is it not? It's like a gigantic Bitcoin watch. You can see in the, if you're not driving, you can take a look at this. Uh, looks interesting, perhaps expensive. And you got the Bitcoin logo in the center with the QR code at the top. And you can scan the QR code on this thing. And that bad boy, this particular one, has a balance of Bitcoin of $17 million. You can see this uh, lady on the screen here. She's, uh, she, yeah, she's scanning right there. So look at that. That's insane. So uh, presumably that's all real. And uh, then there's a little, um, what do you call it, hard hardware wallet included with this when, when you buy it. So um, I actually, I scrolled down and I didn't see, I could have just missed it because I was admittedly kind of quickly. I watched the whole video, but other than that, I didn't really dig any further. So I don't know if the everyday person can go out and buy this anywhere. Um, maybe it's listed somewhere, but in scrolling down, I didn't see anything like quickly apparent. And then I just kind of moved on because I'm not going to buy it. But <laughs> a little too gaudy for my taste, you know. Boom Lamble's a humble Midwest guy. But uh, nonetheless, I thought it was cool enough that I'd uh, go ahead and share it with you. It's just kind of an interesting video. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for stopping by. You are a super cool person if you made it to the end. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!